Several of Vice President Joyce Majuru's allies stayed away from the ZANU-PF Congress this week after one was fired and others were suspended. Two are reportedly ill. Mujuru, among others, was sidelined in elections to a key committee of the party where crucial decisions are made. What's happened in the process is a massive centralization of power within the party, the changes to the ZANU-PF constitution, which uh, have given him uh, unprecedented power within the party. What we must remember is that whoever finally does take over in the party will also adopt these powers as well. So it makes the successor's position extremely powerful. Analysts expect Mugabe's wife Grace to be elevated further in the party. She's due to become head of the Women's League. Grace engineered Mujuru's ousting from ZANU-PF, accusing her of wanting her husband's post and of being corrupt and divisive. Now Mujuru's position in government also hangs in the balance. Mugabe said on Thursday that the vice president faces arrest if corruption allegations prove true. Mujuru was for years seen as one of the front runners as Mugabe's successor. She's said to be replaced by a Mugabe loyalist, Emerson Mnangagwa.